Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hopefully resolve the Windows Update Error Code 0x8024A223. There were problems installing some updates, but we'll try again later. If you keep seeing this and want to search the web or contact support for information, this may help. And then in parentheses, the error message is 0x8024A223. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we are going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in troubleshoot. Best result should come back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and open that up. On the right side, underneath options, you want to select other troubleshooters. And then underneath most frequent, select the Windows Update Troubleshooter and the Run button. And then hopefully this should have been able to resolve the problem. If you're still having an issue, you can open up the search menu and type in CMD. Best match should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, I'm going to have a couple commands in the description of my video. I want you to copy the first one. It's the system file checker utility scan. So go ahead and copy that and then go up the top bar of the command prompt window here. Right click on it, select edit and paste it in. Hit enter to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Okay, so once that is finished running, go ahead and copy the second command in the description of my video at the DISM command, and then go up the top bar of the command prompt window, right click on it, select edit and paste that in, hit enter to begin that scan, that should take a couple minutes as well. And once that's done, go ahead and close out of here, and then you want to restart your computer.
So there you go, guys. Hopefully that was a pretty straightforward process, and hopefully that was able to help resolve your issues with there were some problems installing some updates, and you should not have those problems anymore. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.